Greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Casey Mkwizu. I am currently a postdoctoral scholar under the Directorate of Research, Publications and Innovation at the Open University of Tanzania. So welcome to my presentation on Augmented Reality and Destinations in Africa, an ABCD approach. The presentation outline is introduction, literature review, methodology, findings and discussion, conclusion, implications, limitations, and further studies. For introduction, the destinations in Africa were affected by COVID-19 pandemic due to travel bans and lockdowns, according to Africa Development Bank 2021. Conversely, on a global front, augmented reality, AR, using mobile phones, is revolutionizing how tourists can enhance the experiences of destinations. Africa has outstanding universal values like geoparks, according to UNESCO 2021, that are great heritage to the continent and the world. However, there are few studies that have connected documented reality and destinations in Africa. Hence, this paper applies access, better, connect, disintermediate and educate an ABCDE theory to explore augmented reality and destinations in Africa. For literature review, concept definition of augmented reality refers to a newer technological system in which virtual objects are added to the real world in real time during the user's experience. That is according to Cipresso, Italy Lab 2018. In this paper, augmented reality is the combination of virtual and real worlds using devices such as mobile phones. The ABCD approach is access, better, connect, disintermediate and educate as five main areas to promote sustainable tourism and preserve cultural heritage, according to Cantoni 2018. The access better connect this intermediate and educate are further described in table one after this slide. Pematasori Italy 2020 applied the ABCD theory to investigate digital heritage platforms in Indonesia. This paper adopts the ABCD approach in exploring augmented reality and destinations in Africa. Table one is describing main areas of ABCDE approach, which is compiled from Pematasari Italy 2020. Access is described as widen access and raise awareness. That is broaden access of information to stakeholders. And this is according to Cantoni 2018. Better is described as enriching visitors experience on site with digital communications devices, such as mobile access and augmented reality. That is again according to Cantoni 2018. Connect is connecting local stakeholders to heritage. This is a description by Cantoni 2018. This intermediate is described as information distribution, communication support, and promotional activities. And this is according to Davida and Cantoni 2015. Educate is described as training and education activities to relevant stakeholders using e-learning platforms, digital archives, and MOOCs. Augmented reality uses technologies which are based on mobile technology or wearable devices, according to Muro Italy 2019. 
In Statista 2021, as indicated in figure one in the next slide, shows the importance of augmented reality projected to increase per country. In other countries globally, including Africa, its importance is expected to reach 74%. The information in figure one is about the importance of augmented reality globally in the next five years per country. And this information is sourced from Statista 2021. Mexico is the country that has the highest percentage and it has a score of 94% as the importance of augmented reality. India follows Mexico and it has the score of 87%. Malaysia and Saudi Arabia have scored 87% respectively. The rest of the other countries, including Africa, have a score of 74% as the importance of augmented reality. Therefore, figure one actually shows that augmented reality has high scores in terms of its importance. Various destinations can apply augmented reality in tourism. For example, augmented reality can be used in museums, in water tourism, cultural heritage tourism, and creation of new attractions. This is according to OSCO and Kumlo 2019, and also Kazmezak Itala 2021. Cipresso Italy 2018 noted that augmented reality is a more recent technology than virtual reality. With augmented reality applications such as Google Glass and Google HoloLens. There are benefits in augmented reality in tourism and according to Cunevas Italy 2021 the benefits are accessibility of information by tourists, improved tourist knowledge of attractions and destinations, personalized content and services, allows for connectivity and sharing of experiences by tourists, and also reduce information overload by allowing users to request information based on their desires and expectations. Literature on augmented reality and tourism exists, but Muro Itala 2019 advocated for more research, particularly augmented reality technologies. Mkwizu 2020 urged digital content usage while Hassan and Hayawenti 2021 based the augmented reality study in South Africa only. However, there are few studies that have connected augmented reality and destinations in Africa. The methodology in this paper involved literature review approach, relevant information on augmented reality and destinations in Africa was sourced from journals, books, reports, and conference papers. This paper methodology also involved content analysis. Findings and discussion. The projection of augmented reality importance has upward trend as indicated by Statista 2021. Hence, augmented reality is important and has potential. Besides benefits of augmented reality in tourism, opportunities exist in using augmented reality by destinations in Africa to improve access and better information as per ABCDE approach by Cantoni 2018. In connecting augmented reality and destinations in Africa, this implies that opportunities for augmented reality usage 
can include access to information and better information distribution. Using augmented reality mobile apps to enhance tourist experiences of Africa's inscribed outstanding universal value as per UNESCO 2021 and unique national parks. The conclusion, implications, limitations, and suggestions for further studies. This paper explored augmented reality and destinations in Africa. Augmented reality can be applied to improve tourist experiences in destinations. Opportunities in using augmented reality for destinations in Africa include enhancing tourist experiences and information access distribution to complement the access better and connect as per the ABCDE approach. This implies that tourism stakeholders can consider using augmented reality in various destinations in Africa. There are limitations in this study and the limitations are in the use of the literature review approach with content analysis. Future studies can explore augmented reality and destinations in Africa using mixed methods. For example, they can use qualitative and quantitative methods, but also explore the effects of augmented reality technologies on tourism development. These are the references that were used to support the information on augmented reality and destinations in Africa, an ABCDE approach. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. And again, it's been a great honor to be here in this conference and have the virtual presentation. And I thank you all for listening.